Thank you very much. A very good question, which I think uh, was one of the keys uh, addressed in this communication. So, of course, first of all, oceans, they belong to everybody. But that doesn't mean that everybody can do what they want. And we have to move from the first come, first served approach to a sound planning of activities at the sea, especially with them playing a vital role in our European Green Deal objectives. The greater the demand for the use of uh, maritime space, the more crucial is to have spatial planning. Sound and, of course, applicable. And according to the EU Maritime Spatial Planning Directive, the member states had until March uh, this year to design their maritime spatial plans. Public consultations involving both citizens and stakeholders is a fundamental part of the process. At the same time, we need also to have this dialogue at the EU level. And the Commission will create a forum for users of the sea, uh, as I mentioned in my introductory, so-called the Blue Forum. It will organize a dialogue between offshore operators, stakeholders, and scientists engaged in fisheries, aquaculture, shipping, tourism, renewable energy, and other activities. And it will develop synergies between their activities and reconcile competi uh, competing uses of the sea. Indeed, there is a need for collective thinking to explore ways uh, to combine different activities at sea uh, in a multi-use and multi-sectoral approach, looking at positive synergies, at win-win solutions, to reduce the impact of activities on habitats and, of course, leave uh, uh, space untouched for nature. And for instance, there must be ways to combine offshore wind and, and, and uh, mariculture to grow algae along fish uh, uh, farms, to capture nutrients, to design anchors for floating wind farms that can serve also uh, of artificial reefs and nursery uh, for fish. So I think instead of working in silos, we should join forces, be creative, and find solutions to, to preserve the health of the oceans and sea. But most importantly, keep uh, the stakeholders close constantly speak with them, consult, uh, so that our planning would be sound. Thank you. No question? So we are aiming at inviting, of course, uh, all sea users. And uh, that's, of course, including fishery sector, shipping, um, tourism sector, renewable energy, of course, together with the scientists to give us a scientific advice and scientific view also with the decision makers, uh, not only from the EU level, but from the national and even regional level, because in the end of the day, uh, they have the word among the communities, and communities also have to be outspoken and heard. As uh, this press conference is about also very important topic for, for long-term sustainability and resilience of, of the EU's blue economy, uh, and industry, I will not elaborate too much if you allow me on, on the details of the EU-UK negotiations, uh, but it's obvious that, of course, uh, there is an interest and, and, and it's obvious that, that there is no reason to deny it, that we face certain challenges while trying to ensure predictability and wealth to our fishermen and women, uh, their families and coastal communities, as well as sustainability of shared fish stocks. And that's why I have uh, invited ministers responsible for fisheries uh, in member states most concerned uh, about certain situation for a virtual meeting this afternoon to take stock of the situation. I would say that it's been huge work done since uh, the very beginning. Uh, and we are close uh, to a reaching agreement. But of course, there is some uh, sticky issues which still has to be resolved. Um, the negotiations are very clear. Uh, you have to have everything agreed uh, and then you can sign the agreement. I cannot give you an exact date when it's going to happen. We constantly continue to engage with the UK, speaking about those issues and differences. Uh, of course, we want to achieve agreement, but not at any price. As I've mentioned before, our priority is our communities and uh, their interests. 
So first of all, I, I would like to correct, there is no conflict with UK. It's a absolutely normal process of negotiations where we both have uh, positions uh, and, and of course looking for a, a, a common ground to agree. Uh, now, coming to, 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 to Italy question and Mediterranean Sea especially, we of course constantly uh, watch the situation. The accident, the exact one you were speaking, uh, I'm not aware because there have been those in the past and I can tell you that Commission is of course uh, looking at all of them with care. And if there is, of course, more detail to, to be provided, they can be provided at the, at the technical briefing on the exact uh, accident. Because now I cannot uh, tell you which uh, accident you, you're talking exactly uh, about and, and, and so on. Thank you. The Commission is always looking for the opportunity to find an agreement, on, on, on especially when we're sharing C uh, with third countries. Uh, but it takes two to reach an agreement. It's one. Secondly, of course, uh, our goal is that uh, agreement would be equal to what our fishermen already under which conditions working, and I mean the CFP, uh, the, the, the sustainability standards, and uh, of course, most importantly, that those agreements would ensure level playing field. At the moment, it's very difficult. Uh, to, 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 to say about any future agreement, especially third country you've mentioned, uh, at the moment there is no uh, significant uh, progress which uh, would, be, would be noted, but as I said, Commission is always open in ensuring level playing field, in ensuring security to our uh, fishermen and women uh, to, for their activities, and ensuring uh, that sustainability is respected around the seas that we are operating in and together with the third countries. That's absolutely the reality we have, that some member states are more advanced and uh, they already are using well uh, tools as maritime spatial planning, but of course our goal as a commission to ensure a level playing field uh, around the EU. And uh, having uh, large, uh, large, coastal communities uh, being uh, so close to the sea, uh, we have to ensure uh, that this is applied uh, around the whole European Union. Uh, and of course, uh, we have to make sure that it's not only one or a couple good examples we have. So there is definitely no changes to, to, to the plans which already adopted, as I said, the member states had uh, time to inform Commission uh, by the end of March. Our goal is to ensure that maritime spatial planning is in line with other stakeholders, is well accepted uh, by the coastal communities, uh, and of course is uh, implemented, ensuring uh, that we also uh, are in line with our common fisheries policy, uh, that we are in line with biodiversity, 2030 strategy goals, and etc. Thank you very much. Thank you.